Hey, how you doing today? My name is Aurelia, and thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to be going over the best cold resist recipes in Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Having only three hearts when you first start out makes everything super deadly. If you're anything like me, then taking a little bit of chip damage from the cold would throw me into a mild panic. I just hated losing hearts. Whether it was fall damage or from anything else, I just hated losing those hearts. So by the end of this video, I will show you how to cook, as well as which ingredients will provide the best cold resist in Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I'll even go so far as to show you how to create a cold resist recipe that'll last you up to 30 minutes. Obviously later on in the game, you need cold resist recipes a little bit less because there are armor pieces that you can use that are gonna help negate the cold. So the first thing I do is go ahead and get rid of the cobblins that are in this area. And then after that, you wanna go ahead and pick up all of the items that they leave behind in their little camp. And the most important thing in this area being, of course, the spicy peppers. The spicy peppers are gonna give you the cold resist that you need for early game. Not only are you gonna find these spicy chili peppers right here in this little camp area, but you're also gonna find them up the hill just before you get started. Going into the cold area, you're gonna find a couple of little plants right there as well. So the first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and get this fire lit underneath the cooking pot. You can either use a torch or you can use any sort of wooden weapon I just so happen to have the soup spoon handy, so I'm gonna use that. As you can see behind, there's a couple of wooden weapons back that way. So let's go ahead and see what happens when we cook up one spicy pepper. Every once in a while, you get really lucky, and one spicy pepper is gonna last you for seven minutes and 30 seconds. That's not what's normally gonna happen. Normally when you cook up one spicy pepper, it's gonna go ahead and last you for two minutes and 30 seconds. Early on, having only one cold resist is really all that you need. It's not until later on in the game that you need the two cold resist, like when you get up into the Herba Mountains. So if we cook up five spicy peppers, you're going to see that it's going to last us for 12 minutes and 30 seconds, and we still only get that one cold resist. So let's go ahead and see what happens when we cook up a single sun shroom. With a single sun shroom, it's gonna also last us for two minutes and 30 seconds for just one of them, and we're gonna get the one cold resist. If we cook up five of them, it's gonna do us a little bit better. It's gonna last us for 12 minutes and 30 seconds, and we're gonna get the two cold resist. So that's something that's gonna be better later on in the game, once you get up to the Herba Mountains. There's also warm Saflina. If we cook up warm, warm Saflina, just like all the other ingredients, it's going to last us for 2 minutes and 30 seconds, and it's going to give us one cold resist. If we go ahead and cook up 5 warm Saflina, you're going to find that it's going to last us for 12 minutes and 30 seconds, and we're still only going to get that one cold resist. So Saflina as a whole, a general rule of thumb, it's really not a, a high-end ingredient. So let's see what else we got. The sizzlefin trout is a pretty good ingredient. If we go ahead and cook up four of them, we're gonna end up getting the two cold resist and it lasts for 10 minutes. So the last thing I wanna do today is go ahead and give you one really big pro tip. If we mix four of the cold resist recipes and add one Farosh horn, really any dragon horn, it's gonna go ahead and extend the duration of our recipe for 30 minutes. So check that out. Adding a dragon horn to any recipe that has a duration effect is gonna make that recipe last for 30 minutes, no matter what the recipe is. So, if we go ahead and do four sun shrooms and a dragon horn, just to show you again it happens every time, boom, another 30 minute long recipe. I really appreciate you coming by and checking out the video and spending your time here. Uh, if you're into the Zelda Breath of the Wild tips and tricks videos, please do me a favor and go ahead and subscribe. There's going to be a ton more videos coming out. If you want to see anything in particular, please go ahead and leave me a comment down below. If there's something you think I should be doing better, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. And if you haven't already, go ahead and check out Hyrule Dude. He is probably the best Zelda Breath of the Wild video content creator right now. Go listen to some of his videos and tell me his voice isn't soothing as all get out. 
that guy is just crushing it. I'll go ahead and leave a link down to his channel down below. Again, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Have a great day.